what keeps me from being touched by an angel? This gun in my hand. Falk Ziljan, incorporeal hero by virtue of the fact that he carries a gun, stands ten miles outside of Parabellum City at the bottom of a hole. Hello? Can anybody hear me? Can you get some rope or a ladder, please? Hello? Hello? Thank God. Ma'am, could you help me out of here? What are you doing down there? I got a bad tip about some criminal activity in this area, and I fell in this pit trap. Who would do such a thing? I'm pretty sure it was Regina, the queen pin of crime. Come to think of it, maybe not. Her traps are usually more effective and nearly deadly. I see some claw marks on the floor and walls, and some other evidence that there were two or three bobcats down here. But they climbed out long before I got here, which is good because otherwise I'd have more evidence of them to wipe off my trench coat. That's horrible. Yeah, and it's cold, so if you have some rope in your car, or if you could ask some farmer to borrow a ladder... Where do you find bobcats around Parabellum City? We're outside the range of their normal habitat. I don't know. She must have had them shipped in. Are you sure they weren't regular cats? No, I've cleaned litter boxes before, and this is way too big. Do you have any cats? I would love to buy you a cup of coffee, or a bouquet of flowers, and talk about cats over lunch, if you can find a way to get me out of here. I don't think you know who you're talking to. I do not. My name is Falk Ziljan. Could you tell me who I'm talking to? I'm Valkyrie. Okay, Miss Carey. Any relation to the cowboy Harry Carey? It's a title, not a name. My name is Otilla. I'm very glad to meet you. I'm sorry I was short with you or sarcastic. The thing is, I fell in the hole fairly early this morning. The dirt's frozen too hard to dig very well with my hands, so I've only been able to climb a few feet before I fall down, landing in the evidence of bobcats that I mentioned earlier. And I don't mean tufts of fur. It wasn't this morning, Falk. You were in that hole for seven days. It feels like it's been that long, but I didn't notice the sun setting or rising. Because you were unconscious. At other times, you were delirious. I don't think I was. Are you guessing, or have you been up there watching me? I know. That's why I came for you. I don't think you realize how special you are. Normally, I'm confident enough that being humble is an effort, but marinating in cat scat has a way of making you feel not so special. You don't have to worry about that hole or being cold ever again. Since you don't seem to have heard of Valkyries before, let me explain. How much do you know about Norse traditions of eschatology? I can't escape from this cat scatology, and now you want to talk about horse scatology? Eschatology is part of theology dealing with the afterlife and death. And I said Norse, as in Vikings, Scandinavians. I would have thought you'd know a little about them since Englishmen use days of the week named after Norse gods. Tuesday, Wotan's Day, Thor's Day, Friday. Suddenly I do feel like I've been in this hole for a week, just in the last minute. You don't need to memorize any of that. You'll meet them soon enough. All you need to know is that Valkyries like me linger over battlefields and choose which fallen warriors will go to Valhalla and which to Falkvanger. Is that heaven and hell? No, they're both halls where warriors celebrate and drink mead until the end of this world, when they'll fight in the final battle of Ragnarok. But Valhalla is Odin's hall and Falkvanger is Freja's. You'd get along with this guy I know, Thugosh. You're both into sword and sorcery tales and you're both completely delusional. So wait, you said you choose warriors fallen on a battlefield. If I died in this hole, I clearly wasn't in a battle. It counts. You were battling lawbreakers in your own way. At least you were trying to. Could someone help me, please? Can anyone hear me? What are you doing? It seems less and less likely that you're going to help me out of this hole, so I'm trying to get the attention of someone who will. You still don't understand. One of the nice things about the afterlife, apart from sharing mead with the gods, is that you learn answers to mysteries that mortals will never know. For example, who do you think you are? This gun in my hand. I mean, Falk Ziljan. Maybe I have been delirious. No, you were right the first time. Your whole identity is wrapped up in that gun. You are the gun. I appreciate firearms, but I'm not that crazy about them. I know I'm not a gun. But you wish you were. Warriors often speak of how the knife or the axe becomes an extension of their arm or a part of their body. Your gun has become a part of you, while every other part of you seems to be demoted, until all that's left is the gun. That's absurd. It's just a tool. What is the sound of racking the slide of your pistol? What sound does your pistol make when it's fired? 
I don't know what you're trying to prove, but this is a lot of bang. I mean, baloney. May I rest my case yet? What, just because you got me to say bang? Next, you're going to ask me what the wooden benches in churches are called, as if that proves my whole identity is a gun. I don't know what the wooden benches in your churches are called. I'm not dead, and I'm not dying. I'm tough enough to withstand ten hours outdoors in December, getting a little cat scat on my coat. None of this is a big deal, except I'm on the trail of Regina, the queen pin of crime. Lord only knows what she's getting up to while she's had me occupied down here. She might be robbing every bank in Parabellum City, or every gun store. That's right, the lords know what she's doing. Could you please bang me out of this bang hole before bang bang? I believe the reality of your situation is finally catching up to you. Bang. Bang. Bang bang. Bang 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 bang. Falk, are you all right? Yes, I'm bang. I'm fine. It's me, Petra. Have you chosen if I'm going to Folkvanger? Remember me? Petra Wojohowicz, the county clerk and registrar of deeds. I was with Jim Perlmutter on the edge of this cornfield. He's a surveyor. We were talking about whether this parcel would be suitable for testing artillery when I heard you shouting. Thanks for pulling me out of the hole. Where'd that Viking lady go? I didn't see a hole or anyone else out here. You were laying in the mud. At least I thought it was mud. It smells like a litter box. I fell into a pit of bobcats, except the bobcats had gone. Then I was yelling for help all day, and this Valkyrie came to the edge of the hole. But she didn't help. She just talks and talked. Val Carey? Any relation to Bob Carey, the race car driver? No, her name was Otilla. Her title is Valkyrie, which is some kind of angelic Viking maiden who plucks dead warriors from the battlefield and, and flies them to one of the beer halls in Viking heaven. Some kind of Norse scatology. Oh, honey, let's get you warmed up. I got a nice rocking chair in front of the radiator in my apartment. I'm not making it up. I'm afraid you're going to tell me I was there in your dream, only I was a scarecrow and Wordsmith was a tin woodsman. The weirdest part was she tried to convince me that I'm a gun. She said my identity is wrapped up in having a gun and using a gun, so there's nothing left of me. And then I started making gun sounds and I couldn't stop. I really was a gun. I'm so sorry. That must have been a nightmare. It was heavenly. I wish I could go back to sleep and recapture it. Jim, can you help me get him into the DeSoto? Wait, let's get a blanket put down across the back seat first. There. Now we'll turn on the heater and the radio, and you won't have to think about nasty old Norse mythology. This gun in my hand is brought to you by the Rochester Breeding Farms Hatchery. We'd like to get in a few good licks about our champion Viking chicks. Sturdy, healthy, strong, and bold, as the Vikings were of old. Viking chicks are sure to please their back by the following guarantees. We guarantee 100% livability the first 14 days. We guarantee our leg urns will give better and produce 10% more eggs on less feed. We guarantee that you'll have less picking and blowouts. We guarantee a more quiet bird. Order today. Order Viking Chicks from the Rochester Breeding Farms Hatchery in Rochester. Poultry raising is no trick. If you start with Viking baby chicks, just as some folks you really know, there's only one place to go get Viking Chicks. They're sure to please from the Rochester Breeding Farms Hatchery. Who do you think you are? Episode 46 of This Gun in My Hand was flown to a heavenly beer hall by Rob Northrup. This episode and all others are available on YouTube with automatically generated closed captions of dialogue. Visit thisgunandmyhand.blogspot.com for credits, show notes, information on how to subscribe, and to buy my books, such as Little Heist in the Big Woods and Other Revisionist Atrocities. What am I? This Gun in My Hand. <laughs>